Hey, glad you could join us. Just doing a little comparison here, mounting some bullets uh, with the uh, in a 300 wind mag, the 215 Burger, and also the 30 Nosler. We're going to be doing a comparison of these uh, two rifles in the field, how they perform side by side. We've done a lot of case comparison stuff so far, so we're uh, we're getting ready to actually take them out and run them and see what they do. In preparation for this, that brings us to what we're here to talk about today. We're about to build what I feel is one of the most ultimate rifles for all around use. And what are we going to start that build with? We're going to be reviewing every component. And to start this review, we're going to start out with a titanium Lone Peak Fusion TI action. Titanium action. So stick with us. We're going to tear this action apart and look at every aspect of it and see what you think about how it's put together. Okay, so Jeff Brozovich here with LongRangeOnly.com. Another review on a good piece of gear. As I mentioned in the incoming part there of the video, uh, we're getting ready to put together a really spectacular rifle. We're going to review every component along the way and talk about uh, all the features of these components. Then after we're done, we'll re be reviewing the rifle as a whole and how it performs in the field. So to start off today, this is the Fusion TI Lone Peak Action. Okay, it's a titanium action. It's got a lot of great features. Let's go over some of them now. Okay, so first off we should say that uh, Lone Peak offers two long actions in titanium models. Uh, one being the Razor, the other being the Fusion uh, TI. And uh, they're pretty much the same actions. The Razor does run about four ounces lighter. That four ounces mostly lines into the, in the uh, integral rail design. Um, this Fusion has a 20 minute rail on it and uh, that, that's about what we need for the rifle we're building. So that's why we picked this one. Okay, so we covered the 20 minute integral rail. Let's go on about the smoothness of this action before I take it apart here. You're going to hear about sticky titanium actions. There's a lot of actions out there and when you go to work your bolt it's, you know, it's just not smooth. Now Lone Peak, the guys at Lone Peak have done a lot of work here in superior machining and perfect tolerances and the finish of their machining, they've come up with a very smooth work in action. I can tell you this baby's like glass, you know. And the other thing that aids to that is that they've completely nitrite coated their bolt. So this is a nitrited bolt design, it's a one piece bolt design and uh, that, that aids in a lot in how smooth these actions slide. Okay, the other things they've done that helps this action to be smooth and true and, uh, and all is they've, they've, done, uh, they've done quite a bit of machine inside. If you look inside of here with a light, and I'll try to drop a picture in on this, and look at those bolt races where those bolt lugs ride on, you'll see the finish on them things are also very nice, very nice. We're getting an even contact on everything. The back of our bolt lugs here, and I'll show you a picture, they're hand lapped in and they've also done some hand lapping on this bolt before they nitrided it and on the races inside the rail. That's where you get, so when you get your project going, right off the bat you got this smooth action from the very beginning. And they've also incorporated the ever so popular M16 extractor. This is a mini M16, M16 extractor, um, one of my favorites. I like it because it's pinned in opposed to the Seiko that just held in there by spring pressure. But this is pinned in that's a very well working uh, uh, extractor. A lot of us like to use that. Okay, so if we uh, disassemble our bolt, pull out our firing pin assembly, what we're going to see here is we've got a lightened firing pin. I'll drop a photo into that. A lightened firing pin, the firing pin, and the spring, and the spring is a chrome silicon spring for smoother operation and more consistent uh, striking power. But the, the combination of the spring and the light and firing pin have been matched to each other to give you a, a good release and a good striking uh, pressure. The other thing we can note here, they've got the fine 062 inch diameter firing pin on the end. 
and that is strategically matched to the hole in the end of our bolt face here, the firing pin hole, so you don't have any extra slop there that'll create uh, craters that might lead you to believe you're over pressure when you're not. So you shouldn't get, uh, if you get cratering there, it should be for some other reason, not because you got a sloppy firing pin and uh, firing pin bore. Okay. Another thing we need to look at here is, and for 2017, this is new. Uh, they're going to change their, this is aluminum bolt shroud for lighter weight. They're going to change their bolt shroud to a uh, faceted bolt shroud so that it'll match the facets on the action. Strictly for appearance only. I've actually got one of these coming. We're going to upgrade this firing pin assembly and uh, slip that uh, bolt shroud on there. But uh, just so it'll give it a more uh, uniform look, the facets on the bolt shroud will match the facets on the action. Okay, let's take another look here at a feature on this action that's uh, really nice. It's the side bolt release. Just simply uh, depress your button, you come back to your bolt stop, depress your button, and your bolt is right out of there. Now, there's something really important here that not all of these uh, action manufacturers do. And the, the guys at Lone Peak have thought this out and they've done us a favor here. And what they've done is, they went inside of here and where that pin goes through that bolt release, and I've had to change these broken pins before. So th what they've done is they went into that bolt release button and they slotted it where the pin goes through. So when the, when the bolt comes back and smacks that, it doesn't put the pressure on the pin. It transfers the pressure through the button release into the back of the action. Them two mated surfaces are put together there, so as that bolt comes back and hits that, it pushes it back, it hits zero stop, and it, and it doesn't put any pressure on your pin, so you won't end up with a broken pin. Okay, a couple more things we'll talk about here. Integral barrel lug made on the action. Why do we like this? Okay, so let's say we're going to do a, a switch barrel rifle, or we're building our rifle and it's, uh, we've chosen something we know is going to be a little harder on barrels, so we have our gunsmith set up two barrels for it and uh, chamber them, set up the headspace, and all we have to do is screw the barrels off and screw another one on. It's important that these lugs stay in the same exact position when we do this. If you've got a separated um, barrel lug and it moves a little bit, you're, off, you're messed up on your bedding and you're messed up on your headspace. So uh, that's very important. This is a, this is a 250 thick uh, integral barrel lug and it, it's all one part of the action. Another thing we want to look at here is we mentioned these faceted um, places on this action. Now, this is a minute thing, but, but, but it does bring something to the table here. These facets, in conjunction with that integral barrel lug, when you bed this action to your stock, when you drop it in, these facets will help align everything. It's not a rounded surface where things could cock a little bit one way or the other. It's going to find its home, and each one of them facets are going to set down on their own plane. You're going to get 100% contact, and it's going to index itself back into your stock every time you take it out and put it back together and retorque your uh, action screws. Okay, machining here in your trigger well, where your trigger of choice goes in, beautiful. Everything fits just perfect. I slapped a couple triggers in and out of this to see how they set in there. It just, I mean, it's a perfect fit. And along with your action comes these nice little uh, stainless steel pins. They, they fit perfectly. They slide in and out real nice. Uh, so you get those with it too, so you've got a nice press fit pin in there uh, to keep your trigger in place. Okay, that's going to do it for our first review on the, uh, our 30 Nosler rifle action build. Uh, we started out with the, t the Lone Peak uh, titanium action. That's the first component we're going to review. Next one up will be a Manor stock. So uh, watch for more reviews. I hope you found something interesting here. I hope I, I uh, demonstrated to you well what a fine action this is. Um, I hope you liked everything I did. If you did, you know, check us out on longrangeonly.com. We're on Facebook, too, if you want to follow us there. Uh, we've got an Instagram account, and uh, also uh, we've got a YouTube channel that you're watching this on that's uh, pretty active, a lot of reviews coming at it. So hope you found something you liked there. Check us out. Stay with us. Uh, more reviews coming your way as soon as we can. Uh, Jeff Brozovich from Long Range Only, thanking you for watching. Talk to you later.